Hello YouTube! Parametric speaker. What is parametric speaker? Speaker which uh, doesn't uh, uh, vibrate by uh, frequency we want to vibrate, for example 200 Hz, uh, but instead it vibrates 40 kHz, ultrasound, ultrasonic. And uh, ultrasonic is modulated. Uh, in this case, modulated just on off uh, 200 Hz. So let me show you how it looks like, uh, how it sounds. So now you can hear. It is difficult to uh, actually point, make beam at 200 Hz. Um, this is series of pulses, which is 200 Hz. Uh, actually, sorry, not exactly. Um, let me move this here. Uh, 250, I don't know, ah, 250 hertz, so, um, now it's loud, and uh, now it's uh, just reflection, for example here, it is not so directed, but let me go a little bit away, now I can hear reflection and uh, it's pretty annoying pretty annoying um, yesterday I tried uh, with one uh, transducer and it works okay half watt but now it's for about two watts of ultrasonic power but uh, it's actually one watt because uh, it half time uh, oscillate, half time is uh, doesn't oscillate. So this is modulation, just on off. Uh, instead, on off modulation, it is possible to do PWM pulse wide modulation and uh, put some sound speaker. I mean, uh, voice uh, or music or something. Uh, there is exist uh, uh, such thing, but uh, I didn't know that it's actually so powerful uh, even with one single transducer uh, I have four <laughs> I uh, did not buy a separate transducer but this uh, remove it from uh, distance meter in the future uh, there is out there uh, 50 transducers in uh, parallel with PWM but it cost $180 so it is actually better to make my own uh, what is the problem this board uh, power uh, with 10 volts I think 20 volts actually peak to peak 20 volts plus minus 10 volts with uh, RS232 chip and uh, I'm sorry I'm putting camera in, in the beam uh, so it is uh, relatively low power but I'm driving with MOSFET with uh, uh, MOSFETs are here on board and uh, four transformers each transformer uh, output is about 100 volts so a little bit more uh, maximum allowed uh, voltage for one transducer is 150 volts peak to peak so I will now not measure but um, I'm trying also to make uh, a levitation <laughs> But uh, last my last video with levitation was with uh, BC548 uh, transistor, uh, which works okay. But MOSFET, ah, MOSFET uh, uh, giving much more current. So uh, those four coils are uh, pretty hot. Now it's half that uh, uh, temperature uh, because half of the time is uh, on. So let me see how much this can go actually this is non-linear linear effect in the air property of the air and let me go uh, ah. Ah. sorry I don't want to stay 
pray that I will short something. Yes, it's audible. Ah, uh, increasing, increasing number of transducers uh, lead to uh, a more directed sound. So, fifty. Oh, uh, five pairs cost. I don't remember. Seven or eight dollars. And uh, there is no discount. I did not find found uh, if somebody find. Uh, please tell me where to buy pairs because uh, there is not much difference between uh, transmitter side and the receiver side. Sometimes receiver side actually works better with this transformer than uh, uh, transmitter because transmitter is uh, has a slightly uh, higher capacitance. This means uh, it requires more current, so uh, it actually um making trouble with coil with transformer in the future i have plan to make uh, at least 50 or nine first uh, four then nine then more and more and more panel with uh, more transducers and uh, also also i will try to use a 50 watt transducer which is problematic because this big uh transducers for for cleaner ultrasonic cleaner has ringing time uh, too long this small one has ringing time of uh, 1.5 milliseconds this means that uh, 12, 12 milliseconds or uh, I don't know exactly how much um, now mathematics so not, not with me <laughs> because I'm tired uh, always tired always this time uh, evening uh, almost uh, uh, midnight. Uh, what Kitty want to say me? Hey, it is too loud. Turn it off. Turn it off, please. No. He want to say, bring me here. Because I love you. Kitty. Ooh. Ooh, it is too loud. <laughs> So, you can uh, put this on parabolic antenna and uh, uh, direct sound uh, speak to somebody on distance or this way you can increase range of the uh, measure, measurement, the distance measurement but uh, this is not my goal uh, with this device or panel antenna not parabolic parabolic is a little bit clumsy i mean shape and uh, uh, focusing construction and so on panel is easier to make plus parallel and uh, every every element is in parallel uh driven by some transformer with uh, one separate coil with uh, for adjusting uh resonant frequency so that uh, driver board uh, doesn't suffer from overheating to MOSFETs and I don't know, some chip. Uh, so yes, uh, this is exciting project. project. Um, oh, let me change frequency. Uh, this is STM34, a little bit difficult to understand. Um, delay 1, control U, upload, and it should be preset, reset pr prior to uh, programming. So when finished, now it's different frequency. Uh, the same, how to say, the same uh, ability to direct sound. So many parallel uh, transducers uh, will give louder sound. I said 50 watts sounds okay for uh, cleaner, but uh, aside. Uh, 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 ringing time there is one ad additional problem because surface is about four to five centimeters uh, it is bad really bad matching with air uh, acoustic matching uh, impedance matching and I don't know some may maybe some big plate will be good to, to impedance match um, I'm not sure so oh 
100 transducer stand by 10. Uh, it's not cheap. Uh, and this transformer is pretty bad. I, now I see that uh, it is better to uh, use transformer from uh, computer power supply, which works about 30 to 40 kilohertz. So just pay attention to voltage. Do not dry over 150 volts. Uh, I'm driving 100 volts, about 110 volts, I, I'm not sure. Um, and it is loud. Uh, so yes, um, next time I will use or perforated board performation um, or just glue sensors in one panel. Uh, how much power? I don't know. I don't know how much power I will get. Uh, uh, input power is uh, per one was uh, yesterday half watt, but uh, this is uh, uh, measuring voltage times current. I don't remember current, but this was transistor, ordinary transistor, bipolar transistor. Now it's MOSFET, it drives much more current, uh, working much more efficiently. Um, Okay, sorry, I'm uh, botting you with uh, 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 some stupid problems, and uh, tomorrow I will uh, try to repair my quadcopter and uh, put on YouTube uh, how to make this quadcopter, this uh, rack and drone. Uh, carbon rods, uh, some plus element uh, to connect rods uh, to make arms. And everything else needed. Uh, JJ1000 board, which is excellent. It has good range. Uh, you need only board, uh, one transmitter. I think somewhere I saw that it, it's possible to to buy separate uh, controller board, uh, not whole uh, quadcopter. But not sure. Not sure. I have. Uh, I had three JJ1000, and all three is. Uh, all three are disassembled uh, because you know it comes time when uh, I'm switching from small quadcopter to a little bit bigger to bigger and who knows very soon okay boy oh I forgot uh, one important thing uh, you know how a uh, membrane of the speaker works but this transducer, uh, particular transducer, uh, works differently, much, much differently. Uh, usually membrane, uh, when you fix here, let's pretend that this uh, round, uh, vibrate like this. So, just, this is uh, first mode. This one works differently. It is not, let me, let me uh, make smaller paper. Uh, this is uh, 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 anchored uh, on one third on your, from each side, and it works like this. Plus, it has a resonator, which is actually working. Uh, they call it split air. Why? Because, for example, uh, when it goes like this, this upper part uh, doesn't flex. This is just my paper flexing. Uh, so there is spacing, big space. When it flexes uh, differently, it is narrow space and pushes air, air uh, away. So here is pulling air inside, pushing air. So they call it split air. I don't know uh, whether this is proper. So uh, membrane working, uh, normal speaker working like this, pulling air inside, then pushing air out. And this one, in the same time, without uh, this element, uh, you can't hear anything. Uh, in the same time, middle part pulling air and outer parts pushing air. Uh, maybe one fourth or something like this. So net, uh, net uh, pressure is zero without upper part. When it's upper part here, like a, a V shape, uh, when it is in this position, it pushes our air out. In this position, full air. Nothing else. Enough. Enough for tonight. Bye bye.